you ready for some up to speed and football, of course. Welcome to our Friday edition of the show. Uh, we are just days away from Super Bowl Louis Vuitton, Super Bowl LV 55 on the heels of that clip you just saw. Let's keep learning about all the ways our brand is making a super splash in Tampa this Sunday. Our chief marketing officer, Diego Scotti, is putting on his game face to help break down all the details, Diego joins us uh, in just a moment. And friends, we are hoping you stay locked in to this discussion with Diego. You're going to be able to use the details from our discussion for a chance to win some very special Super Bowl swag. We'll tell you how at the end of the show. So let's get right to it with more on Verizon's game-changing plays at the Super Bowl. Here's our huddle with Verizon's marketing QB, Diego Scotti. Folks, we're just a couple days away from the Super Bowl. It does look a little different this year, but of course, this is a great moment once again for the brand. Diego, thank you for joining us. Uh, what's on your mind? Big game coming up on Sunday. Big game, and I tell you, we are uh, very, very prepared. I'm, I'm so excited about Sunday because I tell you, a lot of people were kind of like wondering what's going to happen this year. How is this Super Bowl going to be? versus previous years, given that they're not going to be a lot of uh, uh, people on the stadium. It's just a different uh, year. And I tell you, we went this year thinking that we were going to make this uh, our best Super Bowl ever. And, uh, and that made a difference, you know, so a lot of great stuff happening. Yeah, so let's start right away. Of course, 5G is huge once again for uh, for the Super Bowl. Now, we can't make it to the live games, of course, just yet, but the virtual experience, that game experience, it's getting the upgrade. Uh, tell us how 5G is helping fans experience uh, the game this year. Well, I tell you, the, the way we approached the, the Super Bowl this year was in 241. It used it as a great platform to tell our 5G story, uh, since we need to be out there with our leadership and superiority message. Uh, but also to uh, do uh, something really good for society, coming together uh, to support small businesses. So those two things are uh, the big pillars of the way we are approaching the Super Bowl. And starting with 5G, uh, I, I tell you, the, the, the way the team thought about it this year was to say, well, uh, whatever uh, way you are experiencing the Super Bowl, we are going to make it an amazing experience thanks to 5G. So let me just break it down for you. So starting with the uh, stadium, uh, the Tampa Stadium is uh, is one of the stadiums that I would say is the, the probably one of the, the, the few places in the world that is fully outfitted uh, for 5G. We invested more than $80 million uh, on that area to make our network really, really strong uh, in Tampa and in the stadium. And 5G is going to enable a lot of things in there, from concessions to security features to crowd management, etc., uh, so uh, you're going to see a lot of 5G on the stadium right right from the bat. Now, if you can't make it to the stadium, we have also something for you. Two things. The uh, 5G Super Stadium app that is part of the NFL app is going to be there for you to give you not only uh, some uh, really fun things to do in terms of AR and VR, but also a, a feature that I love, which is the 7 uh, camera views that you can toggle back and forth with absolutely no latency because of 5G. I love that. So I don't know if you like it, but it's, it's a great, great feature. Awesome. Uh, and then uh, also through Yahoo, we're going to uh, also have uh, the watch uh, together uh, feature. So uh, if you're not in the stadium, if you can't get together with your family, this is a great way of watching the game with the people uh, you love. So many ways we can enjoy this game. 5G is a huge part of that $80 million investment. It is awesome. Um, I'd be remiss if we didn't mention, Diego, this actually might get me on the Fortnite train finally. I know I'm a little late to the party, uh, but we have a new Fortnite experience. Well, yeah, listen, the, 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 the reason why it's so important that uh, we focus on 5G is because part of what we try to do is to uh, help customers understand what's the difference that 5G is going to make in their lives. And, and one of the uh, use cases that today anybody that plays video games uh, can see is that when you play with 5G, either at home or on the go, you get tremendous performance in terms of, uh, you know, you probably heard it. I don't know if you have a lot of uh, gamer uh, uh, friends that tell you uh, the lag killed me. Well, yep. now with 5G Ultra Wideband, there's no excuses anymore because the lag can't kill you anymore. And Fortnite was a uh, natural uh, place for us to say, let's create an experience in which we can engage 
uh, millions of people to learn more about 5G, but also engage with the brand in a different way. So I tell you, this is the first ever stadium that any brand has built from the scratch on the creative mode uh, of Fortnite. And uh, I tell you, I have it, uh, a 15-year-old son that saw this, and he he didn't he couldn't believe that uh, you know the team and Verizon came up with this. This was done from scratch. It was done leveraging 5G uh, technology. And then when you go into Fortnite and you go into creative mode, you can go into the stadium, play several games. You get a 5G boost that can help you in Fortnite to get more speed. Uh, you can earn and win a lot of uh, uh, prizes. And we're going to have great competitions between uh, celebrities and, and also um, uh, players that are happening uh, throughout uh, throughout the weekend. But really a first for Verizon and an amazing job that the team did. You know, I know we have a lot of cool moms and dads out there and uh, folks just like uh, Diego, you can be the cool parent and say, hey, kids, check a look, take a look at this uh, Fortnite uh, uh, experience there. That's going to be awesome. Uh, of course, a lot of people watching the Super Bowl uh, for the ads. Uh, and I know we'll have to tune in during the game to see the commercial. But I uh, was just wondering, can you give us a preview? Well, yeah, and, and I tell you, it's interesting because I love ads, you know, I love the Super Bowl because of the ads. In our case, I tell you, we didn't start with the ad. That's where I think the, the, these experiences that we're talking about are so, are so compelling. But the ad will also help us tell our 5G story. So let's take a look for a quick preview. He who is good for making excuses is seldom good for anything else. Who's this guy? Wow, so what do you think? I know that you're probably saying, show, show me the whole commercial. I, I want to see the rest of it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I, I, I tell you, you're going to need to wait until Sunday. You know that we always want to keep some surprises uh, going. Uh, I'm very excited about this. Uh, you probably noticed uh, Samuel L. Jackson uh, is on the commercial. Uh, and uh, mm -hmm. it's going to be, I think, a great demonstration of our product, super entertaining uh, so I can't wait to see and hear what everybody thinks after you see it on Sunday. Looking forward to it. And, of course, a moment of pride for all of us when we see that spot air uh, on Super Bowl Sunday. Okay, so after we crown a Super Bowl champ, Diego, it looks like Verizon will continue the celebration. Uh, we've got the big concert for small business, lots of big names. What can you tell us about the concert? Well, I'll tell you, first, uh, before we talk about the concert in itself, I think we need to go back to... Uh, our four stakeholders and society being such an important one, and also our our customers. And uh, when we started Pay Forward Lab last year, if you remember uh, the beginning of the pandemic, we never really thought how uh, meaningful the impact that what we were doing uh, was going to have with small businesses. And even now, a year later, the help to support small businesses that are, are really having a hard time uh, these times is, is super, super important. So we are having the big concert for small businesses. Uh, it's going to be right after the Super Bowl. So we're trying to make this uh, the biggest after party that everybody is going to be able to join uh, virtually. Uh, so whatever you are, social media, uh, broadcast, etc., you're going to be able to find it and watch it. And we're going to have a tremendous uh, number of great artists from Alicia Keys uh, to uh, Christina Aguilera, uh, to a lot of other artists that are coming together to sing uh, new songs, uh, original material, uh, new interpretations of the songs. And the whole idea is to come together to support small businesses. We're going to ask uh, our audiences, our customers to donate uh, funds to, uh, that is going to go to grants uh, for small businesses. We're kicking off that with $10 million that we're putting to support of LISC. Uh, that uh, we partnered last year to provide uh, these grants. And all of this is part of a bigger program that is uh, to support a million of small businesses uh, with not only the funds that they need to survive today, but also what they need to thrive uh, in the future in terms of supporting their digital transformation. So uh, the Verizon Business Group, uh, Tammy and her whole team are, are behind this amazing effort uh, to make sure that we are behind the small businesses and that we can all do something. I mean, everybody has a favorite small business. 
that they want to shop. And those guys are suffering now, you know. So the best thing that we can do is if you can donate as part of the, the concert, but also shop small. Go order food, get a gift card, uh, you know, buy uh, a gift card for, for some extra money that you can then spend throughout the months. They need our help. They need Verizon. They need you. It's a great message for the entire world and a great way to reflect what we believe in uh, as a company. What a great way to end uh, a championship uh, run uh, for the NFL there. Any uh, final thoughts before the game? Uh, you're singing at this concert, right, Diego? I wish, I wish. You know, I want to believe that I'm a good singer, but no, I think that's going to be one of the surprises maybe for the for the future. Uh, listen, no, I wanted to say this. I think this has been a, a tremendous effort uh, from everybody throughout Verizon. A huge thanks, first of all, uh, to everyone in our network team uh, that they are working day in and day out to make the experience in Tampa and then throughout the country the best it could be in terms of our network. Uh, and then for everybody else in the, in the organization that are doing something important to either put uh, together some of these experiences and the great marketing team that also I think is going to make us, uh, whomever wins on Sunday, I think it's going to be only one winner, and that's going to be Verizon. Awesome. Diego, thank you very much for your time, sir. Thanks, Andy. It's good to see you. All right, there you have it, our interview with uh, Diego on all things marketing at the Super Bowl. Now, you may have wondered why I was asking Diego about his uh, musical chops, and that's because if you haven't seen our new 60-second series with our leaders, you're missing out on gems like uh, Diego's singing skills. So check out this short snippet of Diego's 60 Seconds. You can't always get what you want. <laughs> there it is. So if you're wondering why Diego is singing Rolling Stones, and if you'd like to see the rest of Diego's and our entire leadership team 60-second series, head on over to the Inside Verizon app. We've got them on our Inside Verizon YouTube page as well. Okay, back to our Super Bowl coverage. We have some stats we want to share with you. Pretty interesting stuff. So Verizon worked with uh, Morning Consult to pull consumers and get a snapshot of our game day plans. A uh, couple findings that we found very interesting. So 69% of people responding said they watched the Super Bowl mainly for the ads. That's great for our spot with Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, one in three millennials uh, say they plan to attend a virtual party for the Super Bowl. So yes, you've got to keep it safe, keep it virtual. Virtual, and half of adults agree that having 5G at stadiums and venues will transform the live event experience for fans when in-person entertainment is possible again. So we're halfway there. We've still got some work to do here, uh, but clearly that's the trend, and people are really excited. They're looking forward to 5G, and of course our job um, as, uh, as representatives of the company is to continue telling that 5G story. So our thanks to Diego uh, for helping us out with that. Uh, so clearly there are tons of reasons why it's going to be a very special game for the V-Team this Sunday. And all that we talked about with Diego feels very much like good um, dinner table material. Uh, even though Hans's Patriots aren't in it this year, I mean, Tom Brady is. Uh, and there's a lot to share at the virtual Super Bowl table uh, with your friends and family. And with that in mind, our consumer segment marketing leader, Angie Klein, has a friendly reminder about our friends and family program with some new details that you're going to want to hear about. Uh, so here's Angie. Hi, V-teamers. We have so many great things in store for this year's Super Bowl, which is why we're excited to announce the continuation of our friends and family program, which gives every V-teamer the ability to share special discounts for those holdouts in your life who haven't yet switched to Verizon. So even though we may not be doing big in-person Super Bowl parties this year, we are helping our customers safely enjoy the game virtually together with our Watch Together app and our Fortnite virtual stadium. There's never really been a better time to invite your friends and family to join Verizon so they can enjoy a Super Bowl experience like they've never had before. So what is our friends and family program? Well, we launched it last year and we're now extending it. So V-teamers can offer their friends and family who switch to Verizon special discounted pricing on all of our best services. And there really has never been a better time to talk about why Verizon is the best. Our 5G, 5G built right. And for Fios and Unlimited Mobile, we have our mix and match, which gives you everything you want without paying for the things you don't. 
And of course, right now we also have some amazing content offers with Disney Plus, Discovery Plus, Apple Music, all on us. And friends and family discounts are actually on top of any of the other promos we have in market for switchers. So on February 1st, every employee will have their unique friends and family code updated. Um, when you get someone to switch with your code, new mobile customers who port their number to Verizon, they get up to $25 off their unlimited account every month. Um, and new Fios Gigabit Connection customers save $10 per month. And your code can be used five times for mobile and five times for Fios. We'll probably give you another one after that. So visit About You or the street or see the feed card in your My Verizon app. You get your unique code there. And this offer is only available to customers who order online, so make sure you tell them that important detail. And before we go, one more thing. We wanted to make this even more exciting for you to get your friends and family to switch to Verizon, so we have a little contest. Any V-teamer who uses three of their friends and family codes in February will be entered to win a 5G ultra-wideband smartphone. We're giving a number of them away, so you want to get involved. And everyone who uses even one code will be eligible to win in our weekly drawings for prizes like tablets, gift cards, and wearables. So start sharing right now while there's never been a better time to switch to Verizon. All right. Thank you very much, Angie, for that update on friends and family. Seems like uh, we're all in a contest kind of mood. So in addition to Angie's friends and family promotions, we've got that special uh, Super Bowl swag to give away. So uh, let's get to those details. Now, all you got to do is take a survey after this episode, uh, and hopefully you're still spending uh, uh, you know, the Super Bowl uh, safely. And uh, as you heard from Diego and Angie, there are several safe ways that we can uh, enjoy uh, Sunday night. Night together now so let's talk about this survey so basically we will put a link uh, in the story copy of this episode's replay if you're watching live I'll look for the replay on the web and if you're watching the replay of course uh, scroll down find the link on the survey so what you'll do is you will take this survey uh, and the survey will be more like a quiz like almost like a take-home quiz um, so make sure that uh, you get those answers correct and um, if you answer all correctly you will be entered uh, to win some of our our Super Bowl swag, and I guarantee you this is stuff that you are going to love. So um, look for that survey link. That'll come out uh, with the replay of this episode. Scroll down to the copy. You'll find the link there, and uh, good luck to all those who enter. All right, we are reaching our two-minute drill. So uh, a few quick announcements before we go. The Pulse survey, it is underway right now. So just a reminder, you have until next Friday to complete your Q1 Pulse survey. So uh, let's see if we can hit 100% this time. Uh, it's a fantastic way to voice your opinion on ways we can uh, make our company even better. Now, uh, with our push to help small businesses, as Diego mentioned, uh, through our big concert for small business uh, concert to after party after the Super Bowl, we are encouraging folks to post on social media some of their favorite small businesses using the hashtag Big Concert Small Biz with a Z for a chance to have your tweet or your post featured uh, in the live stream broadcast uh, Sunday night. So as we take a look at the slide, you can see uh, Jess Bernardi and I uh, have already posted Posted hours. A uh, big shout out uh, to uh, one of my uh, favorite, favorite pizza places back at home, Lou Malnati's. Uh, I can just taste the uh, slice right now. So hopefully I can grab one when I get back home. And uh, while I'm thinking calories in, uh, Jess is thinking calories out. And uh, she wants to send some small business love uh, to her CrossFit team over at Chimney Rock CrossFit here uh, in New Jersey. Uh, so lots of great uh, small business love on social. Make sure you post yours as well using the hashtag Big Concert Small Biz. Now, just in case you missed our latest episode of Next 20, Chris Haynes of Yahoo Sports spoke with basketball stars Ray Allen, Drew Holiday, and Renee Montgomery about the powerful legacy of sports activism and how to stand up and speak out. You can catch the replay on VZ Web and Inside Verizon. One last reminder as you're enjoying the game, enjoying the ads, look for our spot featuring Samuel L. Jackson. Feel the pride. Tell your friends and family. Walk away from the game feeling like a champion. So speaking of champion, um, we're going to turn this into a bit of a sports show here uh, with my prediction for the game. Now, as you can see, um, I am wearing Bucks-ish colors, but um, I'm going to go with uh, the young gun on this one, Mr. Mahomes. So I will go with the Chiefs on this, and my prediction is 
Chiefs 38 to 35. I think it's going to be uh, just an absolute shootout, and I think uh, a field goal will win the game here. So go ahead and uh, share with us your predictions uh, in the comments on VZ Web. We'd love to know what you think. Uh, but uh, hey. Um, as Diego said, uh, whoever wins, uh, Verizon is the real winner. Uh, and uh, just a big thank you to all of our teammates who made uh, the Super Bowl so special. Uh, we're going to be thinking of you uh, as we uh, um, eat and share virtually this great experience. Uh, have a fantastic weekend, everybody. Go football. Go Verizon. And until next time, you're up to speed.